All right, so to start today, we are going to practice some of our digraphs. So here are the cards, and you know the drill. W-H, whistle, W. You say it. T-H, thumb, S H ship C H chin ch the last one that only goes on the ends of words C K sock K Awesome. So we are going to build a word today with our digraphs, and that word is shut. So I've put some letters up here on the board, and we need to decide the first sound is shh. Now, we know that that sound is a digraph. So which of these digraphs is it? Is it the long S that can go on forever? Shh. Or is it the sort C that is a short sound, like ch? Like a choo-choo train, ch, ch, ch. All right, so let's think. Shut, can we stretch it out? Sh shut. Did you hear that long sound at the beginning? Sh. So we know that it's the S-H. Sh, uh, uh, you. Sh, uh, S-H-U-T spells shut. Let's get our elbows up and tap the word. Sh-uh-t, shut. Now, the tricky part with this is today we're going to practice seeing those digraphs. It's a windy day, so you might hear some rattling in our classroom. But um, we're going to underline the digraphs in our words so we can see them and know that those sounds make one sound together. So if I look at the word shut, I'm going to underline the digraph sh. So I have sh, ut, shut. I know that S and H make one sound because I'm underlining them both together. So we're going to practice writing some words and then underlining the digraphs. So let's try a different word. Um, the word I want to do is thud, like something fell on the floor and it went thud. So I'm starting with the thud, thud. Can you see my tongue sticking out? Then you know which one it is. T H Th -a -d. thud. Now, when we see the word thud, we're going to underline the digraph. And which one's the digraph? T H is the digraph. So we underline the digraph. You're going to have a chance to practice that on your sheet like this soon, but not with these words yet. So let's try another one. Let's do the word chin. Ch in, ch in. I hear a ch. Sounds like sh or ch. Ch, ch. Can I stretch it? Ch in. No, it would be shin. And I don't want the shin that I kick with. I want my chin. So chin, we would have C H I N. Ch in chin. Now, the digraph in this word is CH. Now, I'm going to give you one more, and it's tricky. The word, let me see, which word do I want? I want the word path. Stretch it out with me. P -ath. P -ath. This one's tricky. What is the first sound? P -p you guys are really good at this word. P that letter is? P, P, A, A, P, A, F. Once again, you see my tongue sticking out, you know it's T, H. All right, so the tricky part of this word is where's the digraph? Is it at the beginning of the word? No, it's at the end of the word. Sometimes digraphs come in other spaces in the word, but even though they're somewhere else, they still make their sound together. So I'm underlining them 
together to remind me that the end of my word this time makes one sound, which is All right, we are going to have you, I'm gonna have to rearrange my board slightly, but I want you to get your paper that looks like this in your folder out. This paper um, will give you, um, we're gonna do some sounds, some review words, some current words, we're gonna practice writing some words, and we're gonna underline those digraphs in those words. So let me go ahead. This is the time I'm letting you go get it while I prepare my board. You're going to get your papers ready. You need a pencil and you need your paper. So at the top, we're going to practice three sounds. I'm going to say a sound and I want you to write the letters for it. The first one I'm going to do with you, that sound is k. Now it's a trick. There are three ways to make the k sound. I want you to write each of them. One here one here, and one here. Three different ways that we make the k sound. So my first hint is k is a letter. Right here. The second one is one letter. A different letter. This still makes the k sound. The last one, the hint is it's a digraph. So it's a digraph that makes that sound. So go ahead and see if you can come up with them. I'm not going to share with you because I want to see that you are doing this um, at your own pace at home and you are listening to the videos and you can figure out those three ways to make the k sound. So the next ones I'm going to do with you, um, there's a one and a two. It says review words. Now these words are words that you should be able to spell because they're from our last chapter. So we're going to do the first word which is cut. I cut my finger. K -ut. Cut. The first sound is k. It is a C that starts that word. K. Uh, uh. What makes the uh sound? Uh, up. U. And that last sound is the one you guys have been so good at. Up, cup. All right, the next word that I want is, oh, I gotta be careful and make sure it's not too, too tricky, um, a review word. Let's do the word dog. Ready? D, og. A lot of you already know how to spell this word, but you've been writing it in your writing so much, I want you all to be able to practice spelling it. So, d, og. A lot of dogs in our class. D. Make sure that your D is the correct direction. That's why I picked this word, because I'm seeing if you're writing your super C letter first, then it goes up to touch the skyline and comes down. All right, so I want to make sure that it's on the right side of the line. D, ah. You can see with my mouth, ah, it makes an O shape. So D, ah, G, G. This is also a super C letter. Looks like an A, but we're going to dig down into the ground. Make sure you're putting that into the worm line. It's worm line letter. We have cup. We have dog. Now, last part, the trickiest part. I want you to, on the next two words, one and two, we are going to write some digraph words, and then you need to underline the digraph. So the first word we're going to do is shut. We previewed this at the beginning of our lesson. Sh -ut. Sh -ut. Sh -ut. That's that long SH sound. So we're going to start with the sh sound. Next, sh just like in cup, we have the a uh sound. Sh -ut. That lovely T. We still have those letters up there on the bar. So sh -ut. Do you remember what the digraph is in that word? Can you underline it? You're right, S-H. So I want to see you underline it. You should not be underlining the whole word because only the S-H makes one sound together. Let's try the next word. I want you to write the word chip, like I'm eating chips with my salsa. ch -ip. Now if you write this with the wrong digraph, it's going to be the word ship, which is 
Sh ip. You can't hold the sound out. Ch ip. If you hold it out, ch it becomes ship. So ch ch i i check. See, we're not sure if it's an I or an E. I i. I'm not dropping my jaw. Eh eh i eh i ch i not moving, which means it's that short little I. Ch i p chip. Now go ahead and underline the digraph. I gave you lots of clues to this one. CH makes the CH sound. All right, the next part I'm going to just test you on. I'm not going to write these words because you should know them. They might be on your sight word cards or you might already have them memorized. But the next two words, if you go down one more, the next two spots are trick words. And I'm going to give you a couple to spell and see if you know how to spell them. The first one is my very favorite, the. Look at my mouth and you'll know how it starts. The. Now it doesn't tap out, but it does start with the, with that special digraph. So go ahead and spell the word the. The next word I want you to write is the word as. As. It has a special sound at the end that doesn't make the letter that it sounds like. That's why it's a trick word. As. Go ahead and write the word as for number two. And that is all we're going to do today. Don't worry about writing a sentence, but if you want to, for a bonus, on the bottom of your paper, go ahead and write me a sentence using some of these words.